once the gods themselves walked these lands. Our continent of Valentia was home to two of them, sibling gods named Duma and Mila. The elder god Duma believed mankind must be ruled by strength, lest we become corrupt, while his sister Mila believed we should be free to pursue lives of pleasure and comfort. The two clashed ceaselessly. It was a long, dark age before the bitter conflict was resolved with the binding of a divine accord. Valentia would be divided in twain, with Duma ruling the north and Mila ruling the south. And in order to secure a lasting peace, each pledged never to violate the other's dominion. For millennia, this accord was honored, and peace did indeed reign. In time, the kingdom of Zofia, which Mila founded in the south, prospered with the goddess's love and blessings. Hers were a happy people who knew no toil and lived free of hardship. But Mila's gifts spoiled the Zofians, and it was only a matter of time before they sank into depravity. Meanwhile, in the north, Duma had built his own empire. Tempered by harsh lands and the even harsher teachings of their fierce god, the people of Regel had grown strong. But in their quest for power, the Regelians had let their hearts grow cold and numb to all kindness. Both halves of the continent were in a fragile state and the cracks had begun to show. And now, Valentia lies on the cusp of a terrible war that could forever alter its history. Well done, Arm. We'll end today's training here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Fire Emblem Echo, Shadows of Valentia, Blind. And we're back with Alm. He's a grown-up guy now. Myson's still here, still kicking his ass. Your swordsmanship has come a long way. I've always known you had talent. You really think so? You're not just saying that. Are you, Grandfather? Yes, I am. <laughs> You're useless little shit. Go back to shoveling the, the shit. <laughs> Either I'm getting old, or you're getting better. And we both know I'm not old. <laughs> well, good. I love that kind of cocky confidence. Then that means you're ready to let me travel outside the village. Hmm. <laughs> Don't misconstrue my words, boy. The rule still stands. But why? I'm not a child anymore. Why does he keep him locked just up? just said I can fend for myself. If I meet with any dangers, I'll have my sword and my wits. Om, that's not what this is about. Then what is it about? Om. Look, I've heard from the others. I know the droughts made Zofia a scary place. People are starving, and many have turned to thievery and plunder. Brigands loot villages for a mere sack of grain, and soon they'll be at our door. And don't think I haven't heard what the Regellian army has been up to. They've been crossing the border for years in violation of the Divine Accord. Right, because of the two country situation that they had set up. And with that sacred bond broken, now the terrors have resurfaced as well. All true. Zofia is full of innocent people who are looking for help. So I guess I'm in the southern continent now. That's what's going on. Please, Grandfather. I want to make a difference in a world bigger than a handful of houses. I want to see all the amazing places you've told me about, that Selica told me about. Suppose you do set forth with your sword and your wits. So what? By the way, this guy's got some serious, awesome case of Warcraft shoulders going on. <laughs> Will the grand story of your life be how you met the end of a brigand's axe? Before you dream of changing the world, learn your damn place in it. And no more talk of leaving. 
Hot diggity. I'm just laying down the law. Cue the inciting event that makes me have to leave What's the village. Problem? Why teach me to use a sword if you're not going to let me fight? Every day in this place is exactly the same as the next. I know I'm meant for more than this, but you have to let me find it. Hmm. Huh? What's all the commotion? So? It's coming from the gates. Hmm. Here's the event. What's going to happen? Oh, 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 I have to actually do some... Right, because there's a town exploration in this game. I forgot about that. Examine. Sure, let's take a look around. We got oranges. Grab some oranges, sure. I remember climbing this orange tree as a kid. Even fell out of it once. I only broke 17 bones. I was a very fragile kid. This is the house where grandfather and I live. Okay, so it's not going to give me anything else there. Splitting axe. Sure. Weapons. Nice. Home lies on a little patch of land near the edge of the village. It is nice. Oh, okay, so they'll give me text. Where we chop wood. I know. Very thrilling. <laughs> hey, dude, you ever played Octodad? Chopping wood can be thrilling as hell. Scorch marks. Lift scorch the wall while practicing some fire spell. Oops. Raises sheep. They're cute and all, but also kind of jerks. All right. Well, that's about everything we got to find here. Can we go inside? We cannot. Okay. Talk? No one here. Move. Square and the entrance. Skip right over the square, go to the entrance. Gotta examine. Boom. Hey. Oh, okay. So he grew up a little bit, got a little bit cuter. Still can't put that hand down, though. This fellow's here to see Sir Mycin. He was just about to tell us more. I should have gone to the square, shouldn't I? This is, this is gonna be progress. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, good, good. I can move. Back to the square. Here we go. Talk to the peoples. <sighs> what I wouldn't give for some food. Even random NPCs are voiced. This is great. It's been years since we've had a proper harvest. We can't grow much without rain. Why has Mela forsaken us? What's happened to the Earth Mother? She's killing us by withholding her blessings. Earth Mother also makes me think of Warcraft. Sorry, I'm a Blizzard fanboy. The Regalian Empire will seize our lands and will be too weak to resist. You've heard how well-trained their soldiers are, haven't you? We've never toiled or fought for a thing, and we're about to pay for it. A life of luxury doesn't exactly make you, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Well suited to sustaining yourself. Hardship, uh, hardship works. Ram Village used to be known across the kingdom for its magnificent wine. But alas, it's been ages since anyone made a new batch. Valentia's fanciest nobles would send orders for Ram wine from far and wide. If there are any bottles left, they're like to be aged perfection by now. If anything, for one more glass. Alright, so I just gotta look around for some wine. Is that it? Even just a glass of Ram wine. Well, if it is an alm, you all finished with today's training? I still remember when you were only this tall. And now look at you. Sir Mycin has certainly made a strong young man out of you. Well... This is just genetics, really. I <laughs> say all Sir Mycin, but the story is your grandfather was once a famous general. General Mycin. <laughs> I always wondered why such a fellow would end up here. He is very, very strong. And again, the woods around Ram have become dangerous as of late. Perhaps it's for the best that we have him. And you to keep us safe. Alright, talk it's to this guy. To know our plight has the nobility so grief-stricken. King Lima dances at the end of Chancellor Desai's puppet strings. The king would rather eat grapes and frolic in a seraglio than actually rule. Yay. It's no wonder the kingdom's being torn apart by rebellion after rebellion. Ugh, I wish someone would come along and save us from ourselves already. What's that? The Mother Milla? <laughs> like I'd waste my prayers on a goddess as useless Ooh, God, as God, come on, man. That's rough. She's probably doing everything she can, right? That's... I don't... I, I can't actually... I can't defend any god that hasn't been around for a while. Well... Lives or dies by this well. 
Can I drinking water? Excellent. Gotta get them consumables. Make fights easier. Carrot. Sure. Flour. More stuff. More food. This is the village square. You don't say. Can I gra grab this dandelion? Good place to chat and, well, gossip. Never been much of a gossiper myself. I don't like talking about, like, idle stuff. I'm really bad at it. That's it? All right, well, we got a couple consumables. Now let's head over to the, uh, entrance. Okay, do a quick examination before we progress. Arrow. Tobin must have been using this place for archery practice. Okay, so it sounds like the guys seem to have some directions they're moving already. Like one of them's leaning to an archer, somebody who's been practicing with fire magic. Mounted bandits away, hard bread. Mmm, I love hard bread. I love stale things, it's weird. It's got a nice, like, crunch, toughness to it. Slash fence. Gray and I might have gotten a little carried away during sword practice, so Gray's fixing up to be a warrior of sorts. Let's do some talking. So Lucas is the one with the actual info, and the rest of them are these guys. Sorry, pal, but I still can't trust a man in full armor. Keep one hand on your hilt while you talk to this guy, yeah? A knight. Fair enough. Can you believe it? What's he doing in our village? You'd have to practically ride off the edge of the map to find this place. So we're rather far away from the castle. He's sure come a long way just to find a whole lot of nothing. Whatever he's here for, I hope he hasn't brought any trouble with him. Okay, so why do these guys all have the same, like, shoulder armor set up, but Alm has full blue? Uh, Alm! How is sword practice? Everything go okay? Sir Mycin is far too hard on you. I hope you don't have any new bruises. Yeah, just just a couple, just like you must six, be Sir twelve, grandson. twenty-seven. Oh, was it? <laughs> My name is Lucas. I fight for the Deliverance. And what is that? The Deliverance? What's that? Aren't you one of the Knights of Zofia, the King's Knights? Oh, I see. I suppose that means word hasn't yet reached your village. In that case, please forgive me for heralding such dark news, but oh. King Lima the Fourth is dead. Lima, Lima the Fourth. That was the guy that the last bad knight mentioned. Yes, okay. He met his end some days ago at the hands of Chancellor Desay. What? You're saying it was regicide? It's chancellors. Chancellors are always, always bad news. I fear so. It seems to say sold Sophia to the Regalian Empire, along with his soul. You might as well just, like, cross out the word Chancellor from the English Dictionary and replace it with evil guy. Like, not so secretly evil guy, especially guys with facial hair like that. Come on. It doesn't take much. No doubt they promised him lands, perhaps even a title. Upon Lima's death, the Chancellor and the Regalian army seized Sophia Castle and began to visit unspeakable injustices upon the King's people. Sir Clive, of the Knights of Zofia you mentioned, would have none of it. He formed an army to free us from Regal and named it the Deliverance. However, okay. we are outmatched and fast losing this war. We need a hero's aid. And so, I have come to the home of one of Zofia's greatest heroes, Sir Mycin. I was just gonna say, a hero's aid, there's no way you came here for me. There's no way. Do you see, Alm? Sir Clive would not have sent me were it not urgent. Will you take me to see your grandfather? Uh, yes, of course. Okay. Now, let's just hope that this guy isn't also an assassin. Goblets. Which I'm placing at 20% odds right now. Place your bets. I knew Zofia was in hot water, but is this guy serious? S so there's going to be a war? Yeah. There already is one from the sound of things. Yeah, there is, Tobin. Catch but up with me. That's awful. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that it's a thing. If Sir Mycin rides off to war... What'll happen to Alm? You got me. A whole lot of story <sighs> stuff here. Lucas, were you able to speak with my grandfather? What did he say? He said no. Right. Sir Mycin made it clear he has no intention of joining the Deliverance. Awesome. What? But he's ridiculously strong. He could defeat some stuffy chancellor with his eyes closed. Why would he refuse when so many people are suffering? 
starting to think that there's an actual reason he's keeping Alm specifically locked down here. I cannot speak to Sir Mycen's thinking, but it seems we misplaced our hopes. I'll have to return to our hideout and bring Sir Clive the ill news. Perhaps Mycen has simply grown too old for the battlefield. Maybe I'll go with him? Maybe... It was good meeting you, Alm. I must be on starting my Starting to think that he's going to run Thank away. You again for your assistance. From home right now. He's not old. He's tougher than men half his age. Okay, so that's not what's happening. Interesting. You gonna go give him uh, give him some lip? No. Lucas, wait! Here it is. Um, what is it? I'll go. I'll join the deliverance. You? Oh, um, what the hell? You can't do that. Sh shut up, Tobin. Put down your stupid arm. Wait, Just watch me. Can you do that? I'll admit, you fight like a beast and they'd be lucky to have your sword. But this isn't sparring with your gramps, Alm. You're volunteering to go to war. I know what it is. And if Grandfather won't do it, then I'll do it for him. Consider my sword as his. He's He's got determination, but you're not... You're not that good yet, man. Alm, I understand how you feel, but... Like, they needed him specifically. You can't just be like, I'll be Mycin. Sir Mycin has been teaching me to use a blade since I was a boy. I've received tutelage in military tactics, medicine, weather, terrain. I know as much about war as any man who has never seen one can. Let me fight for you with my grandfather's gifts. I'll prove he's no cowardly old man. He's a warrior who trains warriors. Hmm. All right. That might just work. Making a good case. Huh? Then you mean... Oh, come on. You can't be serious. D damn straight I am, Cliff. We, we, we got Why battles not? to fight. Alm presents a good case. We got a game he to has play. A hero's blood in him, and clearly a hero's fire. His presence is sure to raise the troops' morale. And for my part, I'm curious to see what a self-proclaimed warrior can do, especially now that he'll be doing it for the deliverance. Thank you, Lucas. You won't regret this. Uh, I've seen a lot of cake taking in my day, but this really takes the cake. That's a good line. I've <laughs> seen a lot of cake taking. Um, you should back out of this. It's far too dangerous. On the contrary, you should come with me. If anything were to happen to you, I'd... I mean... He me healed up. Just don't do it, okay? Oh, no, 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 shit. Shit, it said skipping. Fuck, I missed out on stuff, didn't I? Damn it, I, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Take all the time you need, Alm. You should pay your respects to Sir Mycen. Okay, so so it said something about having to go talk, right? Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, um... Well then, let's just uh, head back. Maybe there's something different in the square. I'm gonna be super investigated for this entire time, and it's probably gonna piss some people off. Oh, is it true you're leaving the village? Just be careful here. The woods outside Ram are dangerous enough. But once you're through them, you'll hit Fleecer's Forest. The place is crawling with brigands. I wonder why it's called that. It gets through that wood alive. Except for, you know, soldiers, clearly. Can you believe it? The king murdered. What do you suppose happens now? He has no heirs, you know. Not anymore, I mean. Did they also they die? Say Chancellor Desay himself murdered all of them in cold blood. All right, all right, there we go. Thank you for the information. Anyway, hope this deliverance knows who they'll be delivering to that throne. I heard what the knight said, but it sounds like a load of horse plop to me. Everyone plop. knows it's Sophia's fault that Regal invaded in the first place. Plop is a funny word. King Lima refused to help the Regalian Empire during their famine, remember? And we all know the Emperor didn't take too kindly to that little slight. Okay, Such so... A shame. The kingdom and the Empire had been getting along so well. A little bit of a tit-for-tat tat going on here. dead, but his choices live on. Greedy, gre greedy? Oh, right, right. He's still talking about the wine. Cool. Let us continue moving on to Mycin's house. I'm gonna try really hard not, not to, like, reach across with fingers and skip anything again. I'm home. Do you have a minute? There's something I need to speak with you about. Grandfather? Huh. Where is he? Grandfather? Grandfather! Um? He was just here because Lucas was talking to him. So what's going on? Can, can I move anywhere else? No. Talk? No one here? Examine. Is he hiding back in that next house? Doesn't look like it. Door has nothing. Firewood? Still nothing to the firewood. 
Oh, right, okay. So I just gotta move back to the entrance again. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm over here. Tobin, does this mean you're coming with us? Sure am. I can tell Mom and Pa were worried, but I think they'll understand. So the part I skipped was him making the case to, like, go tell your folks. Uh, we're all gonna go, I guess. Listen, everyone. Try not to be amazed when I show all up on the battlefield. Oh. Enough. You know they don't pay extra for that, right, Moneybags? There's nothing wrong with fighting for coin. Many people do. We don't have any rules stating one's reasons must be noble. Now then, Alm, were you able to say goodbye to your grandfather? I was not. He has uh, bailed out the back window. I tried, but I couldn't find him. Well, that is vexing. I suppose we could tarry here a bit longer if you... It's all right. Let's go. Oh, are you certain? I can write him a letter. Come on. We can't wait forever. So be it. I'll defer to your judgment. Lucas Gray and Tobin join you. Lucas, who is Lucas again? Oh, I'm not I'm not getting these guys? I'm coming too. Okay. I'm staying with you no matter what. End of discussion. Awesome. Recruit Faye. The, cool that they give you an option. Why would I not? You know, I guess I don't mind going along. The Deliverance is fighting all across Sophia, right? Well, I've always wanted to see the world, and now's my chance. All I have to do is not get killed. Easy, right? It... it sounds easy. Problem is, it's usually not you that makes the decision to, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get killed today. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's somebody else that does that upon you. <laughs> Okay, well, let's just go on and get out of here. I've been going for about 20 minutes with no fights here. Holm, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? I'm not saying goodbye to your grandfather. My ma and pa have all my brothers and sisters to look after them. I mean, sure, they'll miss me. <laughs> or I hope they will at any rate. But family will help them get by, you know? But all Sir Mycin has for kin is you. And all you have is him. I know. Look, what do you want me to do? He wasn't there. But considering he's never let me take one step outside the village, I doubt I could have talked him into letting me join an army. Not that it would have changed things either way. I have to go. Not just to prove him as a teacher, but to prove myself to me. Well, you've always wanted to put Ram behind you, right? Not gonna say it again. Not gonna say anything about the voices again. Low key, low key comment just slipped in there about the voices. This is your big chance. Your first adventure writ large. We'll call it Alms Epic, or maybe <laughs> The Tale of Gray. Plus that one guy. I like Gray. <laughs> I don't think so. I like Although, Gray. I admit there might be a little something to what you're saying. It's almost as if I feel someone calling out to me. So you really have gone crazy then. Well, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Look, I know how it sounds, but it's the truth. Do you think it's Celica? Ooh, Tobin, come on, man. What? Celica? Don't, don't be slipping in those childhood barbs like that. Where the heck did that come from? Oh, please. You two were inseparable while she was here. You barely made any time for us. I guess that's true. All your friends are super jelly. Maybe it is her. Celica, are you the one who's been calling me? I know that you're out there. I just don't know where, but I can feel it. I hope this journey will bring us together again. First, Alrighty. we for the southern outpost. We'll get a fight in this episode, yeah, you just you wait. Look at all these people on the way, we gotta fight. To save men, hold it for now. But my fellows in the Deliverance have been fighting to reclaim it. The Deliverance hideout lies beyond the outpost. Awesome, we, we can do this. We prepare ourselves for a long journey. How did you get here then? Okay, press the cursor on Alm and press the A button. Alm, Unit 6, rating 309, Ram Village, Brigands, Brigands, rating 190, 266. What's the rating about? I'm guessing the higher is better. No, sorry, I'm guessing the lower... No, wait, wait what? Yeah, higher number, not higher in rankings. So, like, 190 is a less rating than 309, I think. 
which means that a rating of one is not the top army in the world. It's like you have one guy and he can barely feed himself. Anyways, uh, let's just look. Oh, inventory connect. Saving a whole lot of options here. Okay, options. Already looked through many of these. HP gauges are good. Start with each turn curse on your leader. Yes, grid on. I like the grid. Horizontal camera, vertical, music. What are the options? Flip it? Inverted? Oh god, no. No inversions. Uh, auto advance. Conversations require a button press to advance. Cool speaker mode. Do not optimize for system speakers. Sure, whatever. Um, inventory. We got... A, Tobin's got a carrot, Faye's got an orange, and Cliff's got bread. Great. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep going. Enemy squad awaits engage. Sure, let's get, get into a battle. Ramwood's battle. First of... Flostim, 401 VC. All right, let's do our first non-tutorial battle. It'll still be a tutorial. Oh, okay. hey, travelers! Afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to stop right there. I love accents. These here woods belong to me and my boys, see? So if you want to be passing through, you're gonna have to pay the toll. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Yeah, Lucas, how did you get here in the first place? <laughs> Brigands already? But it's only been minutes. We're still within <laughs> sight of the gates. Worse surprises than this await us all. Is everyone ready? <sighs> yes. Let's just kill Come him. On. Let's clear this rabble out. No point in paying money. Let's just kill him. Fire emblem. Let's just kill him. Follow me. Okay. I'll clear us a path. Um, oh, if I may, you mustn't rush headlong into battles on your own. Good advice. Without experience, your friends will never grow into accomplished fighters. I like that. They're actually giving you the tip that says, don't just focus on one guy. Don't do it. <laughs> Spread Trust it around. Them. Give them something to do. At least let them deal the final blow. <sighs> right. That's good advice. I'll give it a try. All right. So, Alm is a fighter at level 1, and the rest of these guys are villagers at varying levels. Gray is 5, Lucas is 2, Faye and Cliff are at 1. That's why they were optionals, right? Because they, they need some babying. But, the babying ones are always turn out the best. Is there anything Just I can see about their... Uh, right, I have to close this thing. Unit growth. Place your strongest units on the front line and use the weaker units to finish off foes. Where's the A button? Oh, okay, more tutorials. Good, start close. So, we have got attack of 7, luck of 10. He's a lucky little bastard. Skill of 1, though. He's really bad at hitting things. So, Alm is our baseline. Actually, he's just very strong in attack. Skill of 7, attack of... Oh, I've got Lucas here, too. He's an actual soldier. Okay, so attack of 10. Fighter. We've got 9, 7, 8, 7. She's got 8. Wow. I guess it doesn't matter uh, figuring out stats or anything. They're all villagers for now. So, Brigand, let's get a couple people up here. Just leave it to me. Come at me, fool. Yes, good. We'll let you take your pick which one of these you want to fight. Stay away from the woods for now, because I'm going to want to take advantage of those myself. This. And, uh, actually, yes, I'm gonna move. What's your range like? Cool, so we'll move you up to here so that you can move into the, uh, here next time. Okay, so what's provisions? I'm basically learning all this on the fly, so the, this first battle also might take a little while. This episode's gonna go long. Orange. Okay, so fatigue is a thing that I don't know about yet. Become hard to eat. Powder. I'm sure they'll give us some stuff about cooking and things later. Items. I have no inventory. We'll get... Not ideal for battle, okay? So that's a very weak weapon. Let's just get most of our guys up in the range of uh, fighting. And you here. Allow me. Lucas? Don't know if I want to use him. Alright, up against Faye. Faye, right? Yes, it is Faye. That's a hit. That counts for something. Get that eight. Get that. Mm, that's a nice, nice hit. 
so they're all rushing me. This is not good. I might have to use Lucas. Uh, press the X button to display the enemy's range of action. Be sure to monitor your distance to the enemy at all times. Okay, so X just basically gives me everybody's attack range, but like previous Fire Emblems, I can turn on individual enemies' attack ranges by mousing over them and pressing the A button. Okay, good. So if I attack, you will uh, do eight, seven, six damage. You can do seven. Lucas can do, ooh, knock him down to four. I like that, I like that a lot. And you will barely get hurt for it, because I want to get Faye that level. Let's do that. Right, hit of 92, 87. Okay, good, good. It all worked out. I'm still, like, taking in uh, how all of this is set up, too. So now let's have her finish this off. Oh. Wait, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so this is something I heard about, too. It, it's giving me this preview of 15 down to 11, but that's like a worst case scenario because I have an attack of 8, he's only got a defense of 2. This will kill if I hit, but it's not a guaranteed hit. So the preview that you see on the HP bar is not like what the battle is going to end up as, and it's going to be hard to uh, get over seeing it that way. Because this should just kill and I won't take any damage. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, good, good. So, Tobin can knock this guy out totally with not a whole lot of damage, but I want to make sure that I get... Ah, crap, Cliff's not close enough to get into the woods. And Cliff can't kill. It will definitely kill. Okay, so let's have Tobin... See, I, I don't, I don't want to put him in a rough situation. If I put him here... Actually, wait. Yeah, I think that might work. Yes, cool. So let's try this. We'll block off... Actually, here, yeah, I'll just stand in these woods. We'll have Tobin come over here and knock this guy. Actually, that kind of screwed up my positioning, but we'll give this a shot. It's the beginning of the game. It, it won't be too punishing. I hope. <laughs> nice. Soak up that EXP. Oh, we got a little pink circle. I think that means something to do with support. Which in this game tends to work like uh, older Fire Emblems. And we will learn more about that as we go along. This guy... Uh, Hurt me. You can't do much of anything to him. But I want to get you in the woods. Problem is, I can't do that yet. Set you there. I'll have you step down. Yeah, if I set you in the woods, then you're just going to tempt him to go to the woods to attack you. We'll do this. Good. Not great, but this is something. Cool, you do more damage than he does to you. Excellent. Coming up around back to attack Tobin, but he gets a double hit. Everybody's really weak right now. And again, beginning of the game. Hit of 100, very good. Okay, so he's set up to be, uh, to be taken out by somebody now. Down here, if I use somebody to weaken this guy further. So if I do this, you'll come down to... Yes, yeah, 16, right? No, you're at 16 now. If I hit you, you'll go down to 10. If I hit you, you go down to 2, and then Faye can get that kill as well. Let's do that. Because Gray's a strong little boy. <laughs> Excellent. You get no experience, but you're not the one that needs it right now. Faye needs it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just go for the throw. <laughs> now we got two left. 
We get, uh, ah, it's not a kill shot. Maybe, though. Now nah, that, that's a kill shot. So what happens if I do this? You'll come down to... So you've got 21. You'll come down to 5. And I can do 5 to you. Excellent. This will work out nice. Alm's not getting much of any experience in this fight, but he's already promoted? The rest of them are villagers, so I think that they're still going to get a chance to, like, broaden themselves out to something. Good, good. Gotta get everybody, especially the low guys, a few kills. And now we can have Tobin, who's at level 2, finish this guy off. Do the stab, dodge the axe, nice sidestep. That wasn't a crit. That was just a regular, really good-looking animation. Yes! Alright. That's the fight done. Battle complete. <laughs> Man, that was too easy. Gray, you're at the bottom of the list. You got nothing. You attacked one guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, bonus EXP. Okay. I hope they explain that. Awesome. That's another fight down. Yes! We've won! That was some fine swordsmanship, Alm. I can see you have more than a bit of your grandfather in you. <laughs> you think so? I'm not gonna make a sex joke. <laughs> it's where my mind went, but I'm not that clever. I'm not that quick about it. Alrighty. So that seems like another uh, good place to leave off this episode, because we got a lot of story stuff, and I want to make sure that I, uh... Try to get at least one battle into each episode. I don't know how it's gonna work out later when we get into support and like base building stuff, but that's a good little chunk for that one. So hit the like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Something I stated when I started Pokemon and I'd like to continue for Fire Emblem if I can. Try to get to 10 likes on every video because that shows that you guys like what I'm doing, that you guys like the series, it helps promote it to new people who can come, then you guys can all chat about in the comments, and just basically everybody gets to have a better time, because active videos are more fun for everybody involved. Uh, shameless self-hawking aside, come back next time for another bandit fight. <laughs> Maybe two. Bye guys.